All right. We are going to go back and play the next Black One Blood Brothers campaign mission and see what changes and what things I can do differently. So we go back to the campaign, resume campaign. I had five operatives in the last mission and all of them came back. So we are now at Green Ghost. And here's the briefing. I'll let you all read it. I won't read it out loud. You can always pause and read. But we do know that this is a day mission. The objective of localization is accurate. In other words, I pretty much know where everybody is. And they're rebels. And there's no random insertion and no unforeseen events. I didn't even know that was an option, unforeseen events. That's interesting, too. Loadout. Again, I'm not going to play with it. I'm assuming that with all 10 operatives, I'm going to get a nice cross-section. And But this time, deployment-wise, I'm going to take everybody. See, I've already got the first five. Oh, no, this starts off with everybody deployed. Okay. So, we're going to begin the mission. Okay, again, sorry for the noise there. All right. Now I have one, two insertion points. I have to sabotage the radio communications. Recover the decryption key. Those are my two objectives. I'm going to try breaking this into two teams and see how that works. By the way, I didn't show this before. You can select different camera views to get a better idea of the terrain. And camera view one is sort of the overview. So I have Marcus leading a squad over here. And I'll add enough so that there's five members over here. And then I'm going to create a squad at the other location with Eaton and then add those five. So we'll have two squads of five operatives each. There we go. I took a little screenshot there for myself. Alright, so take a good look at the map because we're going to be working with this, but it's daytime so we should be able to see better. Now here's interesting. Here's the, we talked about this in the last mission. You have to extract. Do you extract and apparently you can only select one extraction point. Well, the point to the south, I'll put my cursor on it, it's up a ways. It looks like you have to go up to get to it. So I think we'll select the one to the north. Boomo, another big sound there. All right. All right, I'm Marcus, so I only have one of my two teams. I crouch, everybody crouches. So let's, we'll do that and then we'll go to battle plan. Isn't this really cool? When you zoom in, you can actually see the individuals. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to try to... I know how to do this because I did it in the tutorial. I'm going to try to select 
this is my player. Oh, there it is, control. There I am. I'm eating. So I'll get down into position. Now there is an option. There's these kind of fun little plants here I'm doing going up. Joshua was one of my guys. Oh, I could see right there. There's snipers. So we're going to go all the way down and crawl. While we're doing this, let me show you an option. The options. Inputs. These are the controls. Firearm. Those are my options. There's the interactions. Movement. So I'm just doing this so you can see all of the... Alright, we're going to crawl a little farther forward now. And we're going to go back to battle plan. See how the guys are following me stretched out. We've identified two snipers on the hill right there. So we're going to go back in this mode and switch to quick orders. And you can just see all this, the quick orders. We talked about that before. Oh, did you see that? See, there's a little vision marker. How soon can they see us? We're pretty visible. It's daytime. So we're going to switch back to the other squad. So, Marcus, take control. Let's see, we have our guys here. Now that's one of our objectives. Oh, see, I almost got caught there. But this, again, this is one of the uh, difficulty options you can change. You won't get a a notification. You won't get a symbol. Switch to binoculars. See, you got a guy watching me right there. Snipers. 
it's daytime the question is is how close can we get before we get star spotted and okay, so now we're going to go 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 down on our tummies I know that's a little awkward, but he's creeping along. I can switch to the third person view and we can see a little better here. Now we're going to use the J. Nope, that won't do it for me. Sorry about that. We're going to use the battle plan and see how they're all following me. I want them to be spread out. So I'm going to select Marcus, and I'm going to select Team Formation. See, they're moving. The game is actually running now. So let's switch back to the game. I'm here. Remember, I'm in third person view and I'm getting the people out sideways. See, they're all there. And we're going to line up. But let's do something different here. I'm going to do quick orders. Well, I can't do that. I'm going to switch to battle plan. Now, who's the guy with the dog? Chris. Let's have a little fun here. I'm going to control Chris, who's got my dog. Hello, dog. Quit bothering the other people. trying to send the dog, but the dog wandered off here. Oh, I'm apparently I'm not the dog's handler. I thought it was Chris. Let me, let me move back where I was. Alright. James, are you the dog's handler? Yes, you are. Okay. No, see, and watch this. We're going to control the dog, but first we're going to switch to the other team. Oh, by the way, this is a fast way to switch operators. I forgot about this. So we're going to switch teams. We're going to switch to the other team leader, which is Eaton. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to battle plan and switch to Eaton and do the same thing. We're going to tell the guys space out sideways. Oops. Alright, that should do it. We've got the same thing. We're going to have everybody go sideways. I mean, side by side. Watch on battle plan. If I hit the space bar on battle plan, it can do... Oh. No, if they just engage. Rules of engagement, we're going full rules of engagement.
Oops, I just lost a guy down the hillside there. I want to switch back to my dog handler. I'm going to control my dog. I'm going to send the dog down and let him do a little snooping. Oh, the dog sees somebody. Let me show you what you can do with a dog. If he doesn't die before, then... Good little puppy. Good little puppy. Oh, puppy got killed. Alright. And unfortunately, the dog's only got two minutes left to live. And try to save the doggy here. Alright, doggy's back alive again. Shoot, I'm getting shot at. Gotta revive this guy with a two minute revision. Throw a grenade back there. All right. He's back alive. I don't know what all that noise is. Those guys are... See my guys are deploying left and right. Now I'm going to get the dog handler again since... He's alive and the dog's alive. And again, I'm going to try to control the dog. You're, the, the thing about controlling the dog is the dog can only say control for so many minutes. Depending on the skill of the operator. And then after that, he's dead. Or after that, you lose control of him. He doesn't die. So, But I'm using the dog to go inside to try to find out... Well, there doesn't seem to be anybody in s downstairs. Nope, there is a bat, or a, but he's dead. Yeah, apparently the dog can unlock doors. Smart dog, smart dog. Good doggy, good doggy. Also, the camera does not, apparently dip and weave as the dog goes out. But that's the machine you want right there. So, since we know that the door is alright and there's no bad guys in here, we can send our team in. Now, doggy will go back to Jeff. And I'll switch back to control and Jeff controller. I'm sorry, I keep saying Jeff. It's James. Meantime, we'll control somebody else. And 
No, he's not. As long as you don't have the mission, the squad leader selected, everybody will stay in place. All that's going on. That's a weird sound again. Oop. One of my guys just fell down the rocks. Sorry. Now what I want to do is using the J command and selecting F6. We're good here. Well, we'll have to go back to battle plan. Sorry about that. We have to go back to battle plan. Select Eaton. And I want the formation behind him to be a line. And we'll look at battle plan. We need to get to this building here. So, best way to do it is just go down the valley we're looking at, straight ahead, and then up to the left. So, in the meantime, but we'll first go back to Marcus, because he's in charge of the team. And we'll take control. I don't know what it is with that beeping. Oh, that's why. There's an electronics box. Well, whoever's supposed to cut that is, down in my, is probably in the other team. Oh! Oh, I see. There's a camera up there. Yeah, that's what I should have... didn't spot that. So I don't know who's my electronics guy. We're going to all go down because we want to switch to the other team. And that's Eaton. As you can see, we're moving along here. So now all we have to do is recover the decryption key without getting killed. See, there's another box here that's electronic. Let me see if there's somebody in my squad who can defuse that. Joshua. Joshua was my electronics guy. And as soon as I did that... Oh. I just heard somebody yell. I hope that wasn't something we weren't supposed to do. Well, we're going up to recover the decryption key. That, by the way, is another difficulty setter setting when I'm in third-person view. See the nice crosshairs there? We can turn that off. Alright. 
I'm going to switch to options for a second. This, by the way, is all the graphic settings. There's a, unlike some games I have gotten recently that when early access, the, gra the uh, frame rates were awful. This one, the frame rate is very good. And it's, uh, even though I have all the graphics set to high. You can set between auto and semi. That's what I'm doing right now, that little click that you hear. And I could have sworn there was a setting that changed the... Uh, which site you were using, but I can't seem to find the button that's doing that. By the way, you can aim around corners, and that's what that is. People keep yelling. I don't know why they do that. All right. Switch back to third person view. See, we're trying to go in that building. This is another place where I can use a battle plan. I can create a new squad and add Gibson to it. Hayes. And then what I can do is I can select Gibson. And this has waypoints selected. I can also change their stance just by telling them to do that. I also can tell them to go full engagement. So you can see they're moving out. And it's I'm still eating, as you can see in the bottom left. So those guys are going to move out very carefully. Alright, they didn't find anything. I <laughs> know, excuse me for keep going back to this, but I keep trying to figure out why it is that I can't switch. Uh, let's try left control. Nope, that doesn't work either. If you come up to a doorway and you're near the edge, it will automatically do a lean. Well, no point in the making making sure he's dead. Oh, here we go. I 
need Joshua to do this. So he'll be heading this way. Oh, Joshua has already done the hack. That was fast. Oh. That's Joshua with me. Sorry, that's why he was so fast. All right. Switching back to my long gun. And now. And now we'll, since they're back together again, I will select Eaton. I want to do it the other way around, but I'll leave Gibson as the, as the leader. There we go. And everybody's now back in one squad. I can select Gibson and control him. See if I, I press the V key, I can walk a little faster there. All right, it's time to head home. Oh, it says I got to decrypt data. It will assign new tasks to you. Switch cameras again. This is going to take Joshua again. I missed this one. And this is one of the things in the uh, game. You will get um, new instructions. All right, that's it. And we're going to go to the extraction point. Wow, sorry again for that horrible music. I have music shut off. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so we're all going to hit the um, extraction point. Let me figure out where that is. In fact, maybe we'll do something a little simpler here. I'm going to select Marcus, and I'm going to give him waypoints so I don't have to move him separately. And then I'm going to select... Gibson and give him waypoints. You notice that there's a color code to the uh, menus. If we stay in this position, oh, I've got somebody who's stuck. I'll take control of Joshua, and I don't know where he is. Oh, he's still in the kitchen. He just did the decrypt. Move him a little faster. you got a, a walk-run option. See how everybody is heading down? down. See, they're moving, and they're going to move slow, but I can change that. Go back to battle plan. See that? And see how we have thing? I can move it to change it so it's faster. And see, they'll all move a lot faster this way. Let me 
Anywho, Joshua can't get down that way. Ah! I don't know what would happen if you go off the cliff, but I'd rather not find out. Since I have to keep this squad till we get done with the campaign. Oh, I take it back. And that bottom left where the foot is, that's fatigue. That's not visibility. I don't know why I thought that was visibility. Oh, Gibson just got one more hostile. And that's it. Mission is over. The god-awful music plays again. And now it's the debrief. I had one wounded operator, and uh, those are the one I got healthy. The dog also was wounded. Killed 50 enemies and completed both my tasks. So it was a good day. And that's all there is for me now.